Hey, Scott Spears here with you on a, another edition of the Spears Report. Uh, no writings tonight. Uh, this is not prompted. I'm not sitting in front of a computer screen. I'm actually in the dining room of my home, just kind of sitting back and relaxing. A few things I wanted to address, though, because last night, which would have been October the 2nd, I debuted my new radio show on WDCM Radio, 7 to 9 p.m. Uh, Eastern Time, streamed on the net, www.radiomarion.com, 97.5 FM on your dial. I had a lot of fun with that. Guest last night uh, for the 8 o'clock hour was Sam Reese Shepard, the uh, son of Dr. Sam Shepard of Ohio uh, murder lore. Uh, of course, accused of Mary, or killing his wife, uh, Marilyn. I'm not going to go deep into that because you know the story, but the interview with uh, Sam Ray Shepard, the son, the only son of the two, was fascinating, and I hope you enjoyed it. Now, one thing that went on uh, during the first broadcast last night was something I intentionally did, and I'm going to address it here because this is not a, a, a broadcast station, so I can address it here rather than doing it um, on somebody else's dime, which I don't want to do. I said, uh, if somebody tuned into my radio program last night, that I was going to pick my bones uh, on live radio. I said this on Facebook and got a little bit of a response. Some people asked me not to do it, and some people said, uh, go ahead and do it, and what does it involve, and blah, 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 blah. And, and there certainly are bones to pick. There's no doubt about that. But when I finally got time to do the radio show last night, I didn't do it because, once again, I felt like I was on somebody else's dime, and they were allowing me to do a radio show for them, and I feel me coming on and airing my grievances without telling them, no matter how true they are, is not a very professional thing to do. So I didn't do it. And my whole beef really comes from people not being professional. Uh, the basic fundamentals of me airing my bones would have been people's lack of civil civility and people's lack of professionalism and how they maintain things. Basically lying to me and um, doing things in the workplace uh, uh, borderlining on uh, physical attacks. Now, I'm not going to use any names even on this because I think um, you can read between the lines and I think you'll understand who I'm talking about. But the point is, is I don't say this to denigrate somebody or, or to hurt somebody or to do something. And I'm not really even still upset about it. The only reason I do this is because if you ever watch Jack Parr, and I've been following him a lot lately, Jack Parr, any time somebody decided they were going to pick a bone with him, uh, apparently for no reason, uh, he was not just going to let it go silent. He was going to pick it back because he felt that if people were made to be accountable for themselves, that maybe the next time they wouldn't try the same stuff. And my philosophy on this has always been that if I speak out on it, maybe somebody else wouldn't have to go through something that I had to go through. Uh, I'm, I'm very happy where I am. I love doing the radio show. I love doing the TV show. I think some of the best times that I've ever had have, have been working with Charlie and Mary Ann and Martha and, and all the great guests we've have all, had on. We have a great guest coming on tomorrow. Uh, we're going to tape on Tuesday, and I'm, I'm very excited about that. But the grievances are real, and I'm not afraid to speak out about them, and maybe in the future I will even name names because I think that's my prerogative. And I think for the people who um, did these deeds, uh, I hope they're ashamed. They should be. And I think the fact that they lied to cover them up, um, I don't know. I, I hope that they watch this because I hope they watch this and I hope they think to themselves that at any moment I could air my grievance with them and name names. And there's really nothing they could do to me at this point. But I hope in doing this video that they become leery of ever doing it to somebody else again. 
And I also hope that some other media entities in this town will also understand that because you work for one media organization does not mean that you ascribe to all of their philosophies. I don't think any two people wake up on God's green earth the same morning and have the same opinions. So I think uh, you, and I hope that's who I'm coming to with this, you, the, the viewer, the listener, the Facebook um, person, the reader, understands that sometimes the, the things you get from the legitimized media is very highly slanted. There was a day when writers and, and television personalities and radio personalities in writing their copy would not use an adjective or a verb that they thought might express their opinion. It's all opinion now. From the local to the national level, it's all opinion. It just matters. The only difference is, do you like their opinion? If you don't like their opinion, you don't like what they do. If you do like their opinion, you're more apt to um, pay attention. So there you go. That's my statement on that. So I would just be leery of everything because I think uh, behind closed doors and maybe one day when I decide to do a one-person cabaret show, I'll, I'll air all these grievances uh, and name names. But, but right now, I think that's it's just not the time. But watch a little bit of everything and then make your own decisions. You can't be brainwashed. I can't be brainwashed. You can't be brainwashed. If you want to watch something, watch it. You know if it has a personal slant or not, period. That's all there is to that. Uh, and when it comes to politics, which is the big one, uh, you know what? Vote for who you want to vote for, period. That's it. Case closed, over, and out. I hope this has been somewhat enlight enlightening. It's been a little bit rambling, and I hope you were able to understand everything I said. Uh, I don't think I'm malicious. The people who see this, who were involved in the situation that I was, might think this is malicious. Uh, don't particularly care. Tell you the truth. If they think it's malicious, good for them. If they don't think it's malicious, well, good for them. Uh, point is, I'm going to keep on doing what I do because I like doing it. Uh, whether I'm broadcasting to... Um, 1,500 people or 15 people, I like to do it. I like broadcasting the act. And so I'll continue to do it. Probably until somebody pries the microphone out of my hand. Uh, uh, my mentor, Madge Guthrie, once said that radio is people. And by saying that, she meant that it's not television. Television is graphics and so on and so forth. Radio is people. Whether I've done a television show or a radio show or a YouTube video, it's people. I'm not trying to come at you with special effects. I'm not trying to come at you with things blowing up and publicity stunts. I'm trying to come at you and express people. I'm a person. The people I talk to are people. It's all people. And that's my philosophy on broadcasting. Broadcasting is people. And I think we need to get back to people with fewer opinions. And maybe a little more civility. Agree or disagree, it's okay with me. You can like me for saying this or you can not like me for saying this. I promise I won't lose any sleep. But I hope you continue to listen because whether you like what I do or don't like what I do... Um, I just want to be entertaining, informative, and maybe educational. That's my background. That's my degree at Ohio State. I think I've said enough. Once you get rambling, you say a lot of things. I hope you leave a lot of feedback on this because I would like to hear it. If you don't want me to continue to do it, tell me. I don't know that I'll stop, but I certainly might give it thought because you're the people. If you want to email me, scottspears3 at gmail.com. Until the next time I decide to do this, so long.